I imagine that you are now attracting investors that are just the quintessentially great long-term investors that you could never have had in the old days. Well, there's a lot of truth in that, Jim. I think uh, running and gunning may be, uh, I, I may just say that number one is that we were being compensated at that time for growth. And I think right. that the sector actually did uh, actually perform much better from a productivity standpoint than what any of us could have could have thought. And so the, the net effect of that is you saw a dramatic uh, growth in volume. I would argue that the discipline was starting to take place in our sector uh, just before the pandemic. And certainly the pandemic uh, accelerated that, uh, that as well. So, you know, uh, you're seeing more and more uh, of companies reinvesting uh, less of their free cash flow generation front. For us, it's about 35% currently. And uh, that really sets you up for stability. Some, uh, you know, takes some volatility out of, out of the uh, out of the picture. And then, um, you know, the, these dividend yields are are very very impressive. You know, when you're investment grade and you can pay those sorts of yields, we have a, a balance sheet that we have driven that uh, uh, our debt that uh, even off. You know, we're well below uh, one turn, and uh, you know, and going lower uh, well, real rapidly. Well, so, Evo, uh, your your break even is very low, and with oil going higher here, it's eighty one bucks. You're making a ton of money. Well, you know our break even. You, you know you pointed out we do have just the quality of the assets that when you put the two companies together as, as a result of merger, you know eighty percent of our capital is going to the Permian Basin, and the and the uh, the assets we have in the Permian are are virtually second to none. I'd, I'd put them up against uh, anybody, and. Uh, you know, so it's it's going very very well. We do have a, a break even price now, uh, just in that uh, low 30s uh, range, thirty dollars per barrel. And when you start looking at, uh, to your point, commodity prices uh, improving uh, fairly dramatically as we come back in this re you know, recovery from the pandemic, then uh, certainly it, uh, it, it it helps. And so, really pleased. Now, I would I would say, Jim, that. Um, Last year, we were about 50% hedged, and so we've protected 50% right. uh, of our volumes with a net effect in the low $40 per barrel. This year, we're only about 20 25% hedged, as we said here today. So that tells you you have 75% of your barrels uh, being exposed to the current market conditions, which, which is a real plus. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.